Now here's a little something more about it, eagles. And I just find this stuff really fascinating. So here I am in Revelation 12. And it's about the woman. And this is amazing stuff to me. You know, until I started thinking about this renewing of the e like the eagle, I don't know, it just never occurred to me. But in 1214, and the woman and to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And you know, that just makes me think of, of that one eagle story that uh, Howard Pittman told this part of it, that this, the, the, they, they mate for lives and that the old eagle would go to, to the place where they, they all have a, a graveyard, a, a place where they all go to die. So the old eagle would go there to die and his claws would fall off, his beak would fall off. And unless his mate helped him, and she came and would throw food at him every day. And if it were in a place where he couldn't get it, he'd not be able to eat. But she would try to throw that to where as close as he was as possible so that he could eat it. And there he'd lay for a time and times and, and half a time from up there in, in, in his little graveyard, prepared to die. But... If he was blessed and he got enough food, he started being renewed. That was what Howard Pittman said in one of his sermons. And if I ever find that, I'm actually going to record that little clip, little clip because it, 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 he says it's so good and it is absolutely fascinating. So you think of that, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nourished, for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. And here's uh, some murky water for you. And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman to make war with the remnant of her seed, and that's us, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So, I don't know why I'm on this eagle's kick, but I am. I, I guess God puts me there. But she was given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place. That is fascinating stuff. So that's Revelation twelve fourteen, Being renewed and nourished and given two wings of an eagle. Being lifted up out of the place where you're in torment. And that goes right along with Exodus. This Exodus journey I was talking about. Getting out of this place where people and, and the devil have you in absolute torment. Getting away from these false Christians who... Who could care less about you? They're, they could care less if... They, they could care less. They do anything to you. But maybe, just maybe, when that eagle gets renewed, two wings might be given to me and to you who are oppressed. And that we might be lifted up like a, a great big flying Jacob's ladder pulling us out of that pit like I was talking about, like Howard Pittman was talking about his Jacob's Ladder. Are you in a burning crash? Fire all around you. And, and God will send a Jacob's Ladder to pull you up out of that fiery crash and, you know, or give you two wings of, an, of a great eagle or both. Maybe sometimes you're like me and you just need both of them. But I tell you, that's when I started this exodus and I'm, and I'm still not there yet. I don't know when God's going to put me in there. I think I, I, think I got to the 12th chapter of Exodus. I, I don't even know if I made it to the, to the Red Sea yet. But I know the purpose of what God was trying to do. And I trust him. And I know it's a big thing that he's doing. 
and I'm going to hang on to him because I trust him for these two wings of a great eagle as well. And I bless you in Jesus' name.